definitely it's like 46 degrees and so that's hot here so i'm in short sleeves in the shop because wisconsin um uh we've been doing a little bit of cooking a little bit of shop stuff so again today i'm going to do a, some more pattern making i do have a request from someone to make copper uh cookie sheets that are tin lined um and they want it in pretty thick material but before i do that i want to play around with the different options I have for making a 90 degree angle edge um, for the inside of a cookie sheet. And I know which one I'm probably gonna do, but I realize maybe some people don't know the different ways you can make um, uh, edges for like a box, or in this case, um, like, a, like a cookie sheet. Um, there are two basic ways. One is seamless and one has a seam. Because I'm gonna end up using pretty thick copper and I am tinning the inside, I am gonna go with a, um, a seam on my, my edges for this cookie sheet. But I'm gonna show you the two kinds. So, um, here we go. Um, all right. So, I am just gonna use this. And it's so weird to like, here, we're gonna tilt this up, my fancy, my fancy little, whatever you call this tripod thing. It's like so much technology, I can't handle it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a snips and I'm gonna take this piece of just crap tin that I have left over in the shop. And I'm going to make the first cut, which kind of, and I'm gonna do it pretty big, which is going to look kind of um, like a W from your point of view. And I use a snips and then I have a pliers nearby because sometimes you have to twist off your little edges. So I, can you see I'm already starting with this. Then over here, Next cut. And I break my own rule and use fingers. And I like to keep a pliers here so I can twist off my excess. Here's my lines, it's so shiny. Bob first introduced me to this, I think it was part, cartridge box we were making. All right, this is so too long. There's always trimming. Um, that's something I learned, even when you measure, you're always trimming. So do you see this little very awkward looking W? And it's really, really rough. But, do this here I'm just gonna do it here now you can also do this on the bar folder but I have a lot of stuff on it right now so bar folder but what you're gonna do is you're gonna start bending up the sides and you're gonna go like can you see like halfway almost to this W and you're gonna Try and make it as even as possible, but because I'm just slapping this together for you to see how you do corners, we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna kind of bend it back out. I'm gonna go on the other side. And I'm gonna bend that in. I feel like this is so shiny, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me go back. Bend your other side back. So gonna cut myself here. We don't care how straight that is. Now, as you can see, this has started to crinkle, right? Because we have two sides up. Bob has way too many cool tools for this. But essentially, you now want to get your, and this did not come up all the way, 
you want to make this squeezable, this corner to kind of be squeezable again. So you might have to keep playing with this and it is easier on the bar folder, but I do think sometimes you can't always see what it's doing. So now I can squeeze this corner even tighter and I'm gonna use this because I think I made the cuts too deep. Bob's gonna laugh at me and be like, you made their cuts too deep. And I don't have this up on the way. But here, see now how this is a point. Now I can squeeze it even tighter. I'm trying to look and start to fold it. I did make it too tight or too deep. And what I'm trying to do such a crap seam, such a crap seam, no judgment. I did not measure it. I just am doing this for visual purposes and that alone. But now I'm going to start folding that seam. I can't even see if you can see this. I'm too busy watching my own damn tools. It's so So, and this is not straight, that's okay. Now, can, wow, can you see how this piece of metal has been squished and then bent to one side? Now, this is an overlap. This either would be flush if I measured it or you would have that wired and that excess material would then match. This seam, see how it just bends around? And now you have a seamless corner. So you don't have to worry about soldering the corner. It would hold water just like this for the depth of that, that seam. And then of course, if you got it past that and up here, if you didn't wire it, you'd have water spilling out. But this material, this material would be wired over or it would be flush if I had measured it. But now you can see how this is a seamless um, corner. Exhibit A. Now, the other option is to do another cut. This one has a seam, but it is easier to do in my opinion. Um, because in a way you don't need, can I do this here? here? You don't need to measure it or you don't need to be as precise. So it's going to start out like this. You're going to have a corner that has like a triangle like that. Okay. Then you're gonna cut the corner. Oh God, it's like impossible to show you. Like that. You see it? Now ideally, this length and this leg would be um, the same. But you see how like there's that little dip inside there? That is your, um, that's like your tab. So you're gonna come up, you're gonna come up. Shiny material does not help. You're gonna come up and you're gonna come into that tab straight across and Bob and I do this sometimes on the bar folder because again, you can do mass amounts and you're gonna bend up your tab. So now I have a tab at a 90 degree angle. See it? Yay, there's my tab. And then I'm gonna go next to the tab and I'm gonna bend that up also to 90 degrees. Now I have the whole thing at 90 degrees. See it? And then I'm gonna go right up alongside my tab. I'm gonna hope it's, I'm gonna move this so it fits. And I'm going to pull that in. Also at 90 degrees. And now, 
See, this is, it's not measured, but you can see. And now I have another 90 degree corner for a box, a pan, uh, a baking sheet, but there is, and see these are just separate sizes because I didn't care about this, but there is a seam. So, um, and here it is on the inside, you can see the tab and why we had to have just a tiny little jag so that it, it didn't um, have a problem with the, the crease right there. So you can solder both, I would solder both the outside and definitely if you're not tinning and you're just using um, a regular copper sheet or tin sheet and you're not tinning the inside, um, you're gonna have to solder this whole corner as well. Okay, so two kinds of corner seams. One is seamless, one has seams. Um, they both have their own issues. And um, as always, if you have any um, comments, questions, concerns, worries, opinions, ways that you like to do it, um, I, think, I think that covers it. So there you go. Thanks for coming to the shop. Thanks for watching and talk to you next time.